Natalie Kaler. I'm the executive director of Brooksville Main Street, and we're so excited to welcome you to Main Street here in our historic downtown Brooksville. We're so excited about the opportunity to move into the recovery phase for uh, this COVID situation and just wanted to meet and kind of talk through where you can get your information, the resources that we have available. And I'm here with our county administrator, Jeff Rogers, who's done such a great job of leading our county through this time. It's been absolutely extraordinary what the county has been able to do um, with such little direction and in such a short time frame. And so um, we're really pleased to be able to bring him to you to get you the information that you need. Thank you, Natalie. And yes, I'm happy to be out in downtown historic Brooksville. Uh, so we wanted to be in you today is uh, some of the rules that's coming out. The governor's order starts on Monday, uh, this upcoming Monday, May 4th. So what that allows us now to do uh, from beyond the stay at home, what the new exemptions are is that restaurants can open up with outside seating capacity and then inside up to 25% of the capacity of, of, for the restaurants. Retail shops, we can go back to some of our favorite shops down in Toy Store Brooksville, and they're gonna have a 25% limit also, so there'll be how many people can be in the shops at one time, but they'll be allowed to be open now. Uh, museums and libraries also will be open at a 25% capacity, and then also elective surgeries now will also can go forward, so you can go back to your orthodontist, your dentist, and any other surgeries you have planned, you can start talking to your primary care physician and getting those rescheduled, Natalie. Very good. You know, we were at such an interesting time in the city. We were launching some new businesses right as all of this started. We actually had the Tilted Teacup, which moved into a new facility and um, had to close just about the same time that they opened. And also Lugo's Grill is a new Cuban restaurant in town that opened just as all of this was happening. And so most of us have not had a chance to experience those restaurants in the new places. We also have two brand new retail places. Um, one did a little bit of a launch, the Teal Plank launch in Brooksville right across the street from us here and then we have a knitting shop that is opening. I am so excited about seeing what that's going to look like. Um, that is Pan Bang Knitting and they're just down the street as well. So not only do we have all of the normal things that you're used to experiencing when you come to downtown Brooksville, but we also have some really neat new businesses that have come into town that you're going to be able to experience probably for the first time. And so we just want to encourage you. Our businesses have been working hard to figure out over the last 24 hours how to comply with the governor's new rules. They're eager to do that. Everybody's going to keep those distancing measures in place. Um, but we also want to make sure that you can come and enjoy our city. And this is going to give you the best of both worlds. Outstanding. I can't wait till Monday to uh, enjoy some of these new businesses down in downtown Brooksville. Come to our original ones and have some dinner and enjoy down historic Brooksville. Lastly, but we want to make sure that we are, as we move forward in phase one of this um, program the governor's put out, that we still maintain all these social distancing practices that we've all learned this next month, last month. Let's not forget those as we go forward. They're very important. And the sanitation practices we have now, that we need to maintain with this. We ensure they maintain the this virus infection rate in our county at a minimum so we can get to phase two so we can enjoy more of this our economy back and get make sure we maintain our economy here. So uh, remember those for yourself. And if, you, if you're an individual that is more susceptible to this, then please, uh, all means, please stay home at those points. And uh, when we get more of this under control, we can gladly welcome you out at that point. And then lastly, the county has a website for you, hernandocounty.us slash COVID-19, where we have all these resources, not only for businesses and retail shops and how best guidelines for you to manage this through it as you've been working with Natalie and the down Brooksville Recovery Plan down here. We can also uh, information for yourself yourself on how to social distance. So uh, Natalie, I really appreciate you inviting me today and uh, look forward to uh, enjoying Brooksville some more. Absolutely. We look forward to seeing you on Main Street here in the next few days. Thank you.